let's make it happen. Monday morning, 7 a.m. One thing I try and emphasize is taking quick showers. I don't want to be in the shower more than three to five minutes. So one thing I'm improving this week is my diet. I used to eat like a pack, like maybe nine or 10 of these for breakfast, cookies, and um, I would eat a 16 pack of Pop-Tarts for breakfast, and this shit was really fucking me up. So I'm not gonna probably eat perfect this week, but I'm really gonna try and improve, improve my diet. So I brought, I, um, I bought some fruit, um, yogurt, eggs, bananas. I bought different things to improve my diet because, um, your diet, my diet one determines how my day goes and how I feel. And, uh, you know, I don't want to break out again after I take this really serious medicine. So I'm going to try and have something healthy to eat and hopefully it, it can give me a jump to a great day. All right, so I'm running into my dermatologist appointment. I only have two more months of this really serious um, medicine I'm taking for my skin. And with the combination of a new healthy diet, I feel like the long-term effects will even be more successful than last time. Last time I took this medicine, I had um, s success with it four plus years after, but you know I was still like 17, 18 at the time. So my body was still growing and developing, but I feel like you know my skin will be, um, you know, just really clear and really healthy for a lifetime. So I'm going to run in here. After that, I have uh, a phone call I have to take with one of my old business, well, still my business partner, but when we built up the medical commodity business, we're jumping on a phone with a internet consultant slash marketer, and she's going to help us build out a funnel to teach um, other people how to do it. And um, so we're going to build out a funnel um, an online marketing funnel of some sort to teach people how we built up this uh, medical commodity business. And then I have another call with um, one of my other mentors slash coaches for something else I'm in the works of building. And that was supposed to be at 1030, but I might have to switch it back to around 130 or maybe one o'clock because I was supposed to have something prepped for the call, but I don't. So I'm going to try and squeeze that in, back the call up, finish those two out, and then I'm gonna hit the gym later. So I'll bring you guys along with me. See you later. Just had one, about to eat this other empanada for lunch. All right guys, so in this clip, as you can see, I'm just in the locker room at the gym getting ready. I do believe I do a quick flex right here and I'm really excited about the progress that I'm making because to be honest, I haven't even, I haven't even had the best diet. So once I improve my diet and do get on a structured meal plan, my gains and progress is going to go through the roof. Right there, I'm putting on I'm putting on wrist wraps. I use those for chest and shoulder days. Keeps my form good, and I feel like it helps me push the weight up better. All the clips that you're gonna see are all sped up, so if it looks like my form is iffy, that's why I didn't record that much in the gym because I kind of felt weird about it. But I'm going to keep pushing myself out my comfort zone and continue the recordings of my workout. Hope you guys enjoy. guys what's up so um, as you guys can see I only captured a few of my exercises in the gym um, I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm actually reading this book the Walmart effect by Charles Fishman um, it's about how Walmart just dominates and some some cool interesting facts about Walmart um, 
I still have a few things to do tonight, but I'll just shoot another vlog probably tomorrow or the next day. These are definitely very challenging, um, and I feel that they can really take me out of my comfort zone. I didn't capture my entire workout because one, there were more people in the gym than I expected, and I still have, I still do have some social anxiety, social pressure, stuff like that, even though I completed the uh, NoFab challenge and I'm currently living, at it, living it as a lifestyle. So I'm going to continue making these. Let me know how you guys like them, and I'll see you in the next video.